guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. Now today I'm going to talk about everything you really need to know about squatting. Now a lot of people get confused because they come into lifting weights thinking that squats are really simple and then once they find out all the variations they think it's extremely complex. The reality is it just all depends on your goals and what you're trying to achieve. Now here you see a low bar powerlifting squat. I have the bar lower on my back, emphasizing on sitting back into the squat, going to parallel and going up with the weight. I do not suggest using a heeled shoe doing this, I suggest a flat stable shoe. Also make sure you use a powerlifting belt because this will put a lot of strain on your lower back and you need that intra-abdominal pressure from taking a deep breath to get the most weight up. Now the benefit to doing a powerlifting squat is that you get the most weight up possible. So this is beneficial, obviously, for powerlifters. However, I don't think that this is the best squat form to train because this really doesn't work your legs as much as you could because your lower back is taking a majority of the punishment. Now the second type of squat is the full Olympic squat. You see here, I'm going as low as possible. You don't really need to use a belt because your lower back won't be strained that much. You really want to keep an upright position. So really all you'll feel it on is your legs and you'll feel it on your entire legs because you're going so low that you get your hamstrings, your glutes and your quads all in the movement. Olympic squats are great, but you really only need to go that low and do this form of squat if you are in fact an Olympic weightlifter. If you're just an athlete, chances are you won't be able to hit that bottom position comfortably and it's just not really a necessity because you also will use less weight going this low. The last type of squat I'll show you is the one I suggest. Now this is kind of a hybrid between the two. The, it is a high bar squat but you're not going as low as you are in a full Olympic squat and you can use a belt and you're leaning a little bit more forward than you would in a typical ATG squat. Now what this will do is this will allow you to get the best of both worlds because you're really not putting an extreme amount of pressure on your lower back. Your legs will be the limiting factor, but you will be able to get more weight than if you did a full squat. So you'll be able to get that overload that you need with really heavy weights. Studies have shown that you get the same involvement of the hamstrings and the glutes if you go slightly below parallel as if you go all the way down to the ground. So what this really shows is that you won't be missing out any benefits of a full squat by going just slightly below parallel. So if you're an athlete, a bodybuilder, or just someone looking to get stronger, I'd highly suggest using that last squat form for optimal results. So that's it guys, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys, peace.